Ah, another beautiful day to go and get it. Haven't posted many videos because Instagram sucks. Just being honest. I hope they see this. <laughs> Went to Philadelphia over the weekend to see two of my favorite speakers, Eric Thomas and Inky Johnson. You know, and I, it, 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 I went to learn, right? That's my main thing. Like, I want to learn all I can learn. I know I need to take things to the next level. I got to do some things that I didn't necessarily see coming. And I got to roll with it because it is in line with ultimately what I'm after. But I, th I was thinking about something the whole time while I was gone. It's like, what is it? Like, what is it that people are missing? You know what I'm saying? And I, I think it's... We fail to practice things or implement things that we don't see instant gratification. Because, I mean, let's face it. We all are really driven by instant gratification. And I've said this many times before. That's why we eat so much fast food. It's easy. It's instant. We don't have to stand at the stove and cook it. Wait on it, right? And, you know, trying to condition yourself to be a more positive person is difficult you don't see instant results you know it's way easier to be way more pessimistic than it is to be more optimistic on a daily basis you know especially with how negative the world is now you know you're way more keen you're way more likely to see more negative on a daily basis than you are positive material that's why I started putting out more positivity to try and combat that but ultimately, you know, one person isn't going to make a big dent in it, of course. But it doesn't mean that, I, that I'm going to quit doing it. So conditioning things that bring long-term value, being short-term thinkers, is, I think, ultimately the, the, the problem. And I think where I'm failing is being straight up and up front about my results. And I, you know, I don't like to talk numbers. I hate to talk. I hate when I'm talking to people and they're talking about money or talking about how much money they make. You know, it doesn't make you or break you. But I know people are money are numbers driven, right? So, like if I told you that ever since I started to really focus and double down on my self development, I've added ten to fifteen thousand dollars to my annual income each year. Would that make it more interesting to you? I like come to find out it wasn't my boss that was the problem and as to why I wasn't making the type of money I wanted to make or, you know, just going to your boss and asking for a raise being the same person. I just don't feel like that works long term. Ultimately, I had to come to fact, come to terms with the fact that I was the problem. It was me. It was my work ethic. It was the way I thought. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't where I wanted to be. I wasn't happy. I was disappointed in myself. Like it was a me problem. And when I started to really focus on my self-development, I mean, believe me or not, you know what I'm saying, you can think I'm blowing smoke all you want, but I won't say it unless I've done it. And I won't suggest it unless it's worked for me. So, I mean, you look at how long I've been really trying to double down on my self-development, going on for maybe four and a half years now. And I've added ten to $15,000 each year focusing on me and, and, and changing some things about myself and working on my mindset, strengthening my mindset. Like I said, you can believe me a lot thinking think I'm blowing smoke. I'm not going to show you any numbers. Like I'm not flaunting any money, but I'm telling you that I was the problem. And just maybe for you, you could be the issue in your own life too. I'm just trying to provoke a thought. Like, hmm, what if I am the problem? Think about that. Much love.